how have expectations from last year changed to this year? Because going into last year, their expectations were high. I mean, you guys had a, you know, a preseason All-American quarterback, um, Heisman hopeful, you know, at that point, beginning of the season. It was high expectations last year. Did you come into this year with the same expectations or knowing Jake Locker wasn't in the roster for the first time in a long time, you know, where expectations going this year may be a little lower? Um, I think our expectations are higher now. You know, I think we, we all feel that we have a better team this year. You know, it was the Jake show. Mm -hmm. Jake's not here anymore. You know, and I think we have a better football. We have better athletes. We're deeper than we have ever been. And I think we just have an overall team, and I think we can do a lot of things with this team. Right. We know it's a team, but it all falls on his shoulders, <laughs> right? It all falls on the quarterback's shoulders. I mean, that's that's the leader that he has to be. What are a few things, as, as you guys are, are older than, than Keith, that you've looked at him, whether all season, right, or, or, or during fall camp, and said, look, you're our guy, right? We're going to ride with you no matter what. Have you guys spoke to him about taking over this team? Definitely. It's always going to be hard to replace a guy like Jake, you know, a, a great quarterback. But, you know, we just had to move on. And we just, I think, a lot of the older guys helped him out, saying, like, this, this is your team now, Keith. Like, you got to step up and lead us and get us to where we want to be. Right. Same for you? Hey, I think I told him almost, like, every day, the offseason, that uh, he's going to have to step up, take control, and demand the respect that he deserves. And uh, he's done a good job with it. And obviously, he has the whole team behind him. What part of your game that is probably the weakest part of your game that every day in practice, every game, you're trying to strive for, for better success? Um, just absolutely knowing what the defense is doing. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't think I have a great understanding of that. And I just have to get better. I have to keep going. And that's going to come with repetitions. And the more I, you know, play playing games, because game speed is way different than in right. practice, you know, and just things just look different in the games that don't look the same in practice. You know what I mean? It's just adjusting. <laughs>